Hello, welcome back to Exotic Wine Travel. I am your host, Matthew Horton. Hi, I'm Shereen Todd. This is a cool episode. We're at the ABC Brickworks Market Hawker Center in Singapore. When we talk about Asian food, you know, people think about spices and sweetness. Often people default to things like aromatic grapes, like goa stramina, or something with a little bit of residual sugar, like Riesling. So today is really an update a way for us to do pairings that can really challenge you or think about pairing food and wine in a very different way. So we're here with actually a nice importer bringing in some boutique Italian wines. We have uh, Louis from Luigi's Wines. Hello everyone. Yeah, thanks uh, Matt and Sharin for having me. Yeah. Uh, I, um, I'm an importer of Italian wines. Uh, we specialize in working with uh, small wineries that are dedicated to uh, the native varieties of Italy. Things that are pretty unique uh, in flavor profile. They're very regional wines. So I thought it'd be you know interesting to have with uh, some of our favorite local foods. Let's get into it, shall we? We have a. Uh, we're gonna go with Luigi's pick first. We have a uh, Hokkien Mee. Tell us about this dish and why you think it's so special. Um, Hokkien Mee, uh, fried Hokkien Mee is um, very hearty. It's uh, got a lot of shrimp broth. It's got a, a, lot, a bit of pork fat. Um, you know, all in this uh, very uh, rich and uh, flavorful dish. So I love to. Have a mineral-driven white wine uh, with this uh, rich prawny broth. Yeah, I have a uh, Pinot Bianco from Alto Adige. Uh, Alto Adige is an interesting part of uh, Italy. It's left behind uh, by the Austrians after the First World War, and uh, they have a very uh, interesting soils and uh, altitude. And uh, something that they really specialize in is uh, Pinot Bianco. I can drink uh, Alto Adige Pinot Bianco as a daily wine. We talked about Personally, that I can eat Hokkien Mee every day. Okay, <laughs> let's give this a go. I can't wait to dig into this. Ah, I know, he was so excited about this. That's good Hokkien Mee. It's rich, it's got a bit of... That, oh, and I'm not... Wokkien. <laughs> yes, the acidity cuts through, and the minerality comes out because of the seafood element that is uh, in the noodle. Okay. And for this reason, uh, it may be a bit complicated whether you put choose to put lime and uh, chili, which is uh, typical of this dish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's, let's try the second pairing. You picked uh, Vernaccia. I'm a big fan of this producer. Louis is too. The producer's name is uh, Monte Nidoli and they are in San Gimignano. The proprietress is uh, Elisabetta Fagioli, a really inspiring woman and a great winemaker. And uh, why I like this, the acidity in this wine, um, it's not as high as uh, Pinot Bianco, but the mineral aspect is even stronger. Vernaccia, the, the uh, Vernaccia traditionale, has a little bit more texture, a lot of mineral notes. There and it's like a bitter. There is a bit of skin contact. A there bitter, is, um, and this is one of those white wines that uh, should not be served um, too cold. That works surprisingly well. I think it really depends on what you look for in the pairing. Both of them pair well, but I like the first pairing because I like the, the refreshing finish. I think, you know, it's another inexact thing about wine pairing. I think I like the wine, this wine a little bit better, so obviously I'm going to be more inclined to do it. Here you're really getting the mineral seafood element, mm -hmm. um, which, uh, but the richness of this wine, the texture, yeah. uh, does uh, stand up to yeah. the robustness of this dish. Yeah. Okay. I was yeah. going to say, it makes the, the dish and the wine both taste a little bit richer in the mouth. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so for my dish, I picked popia, which is essentially a flower uh, wrap. With, and stuffed with turnip, um, with eggs, or bean sprout, peanut, and then they usually add a little bit of chili and sweet sauce into it. I call it the Chinese burrito, which we're well, kind of like the same thing, right? You know, in a row, and it's something that that is really cheap. It's less than it's usually like maybe a one slightly more than one euro. Quite a neutral flavor, so you can easily pair with a lot of wine. But at the same time, it's challenging because you get your peanut, you have your sweet sauce, and your chili as well. My choice today is also Pinot Bianco okay. because, well, we all, all three of us here really enjoy Pinot Bianco from Alto Adige. In Italians, what I love about an Alto Adige is they're made at all price points and they're all good. Entry level, all the way up. This is the top wine actually from Nahas Mar Marguerite, right? Yeah, because uh, the majority of wineries are in Alto Adige are cooperatives. But what you get is fantastic value. I like the pairing. It does leave a little bit of interesting bitterness on the finish. Maybe the vinaccia might be paired more. Better, I think. Better. Let's see. I think the Pinot Bianco could be too fruity for this. It right. It's a savory dish. Yeah. I like the vinaccia better. The vinaccia, when you smell it, it just goes well with the. It's just very the savory. Okay, for me, this is clear. The vinaccia is a way better pairing. Okay. Besides that. 
because um, the flavors are both complement each other and the uh, and the balance is nice in the mouth. I picked Indian food because there's a famous Indian stall here in ABC, and the cool thing is that Indians are one of the four major ethnicities of Singapore. Here in Singapore, you're gonna find a lot more South Ita Italian, South Indian food. Uh, here we have some North Indian food. Uh, I've got some chicken masala. I've got some kind of mixed uh, potato veggies. I got spinach and rice. Indian food, like you were saying, very very difficult to pair, right? Yep. Why, very why? robust flavors. Yeah, that you will. There's already a lot going on, and they are punching uh, at the highest level. So you wouldn't automatically think of a uh, you know subtle wine to go in between. Mm. This is one of Shireen's favorite producers, Nada Fiorenzo. Uh, this is his Barbera di Alba. Barbera is a very friendly and fruity grape. Mm -hmm. High in acidity, acidity, very low in tannins. Mm -hmm. Usually a very good uh, versatile pairing partner for yeah. most things, including spicy things, because uh, mm -hmm. spice doesn't always uh, interact well with tannins. I'll, ch I'll take uh, with the potato curry first. Let me try. I think I, I, think I bombed this one. <laughs> I don't think this one works very well. I find the herbs and spices of, of the potato really that's that's quite overwhelming it's a little bit too much i think i, I don't uh i don't recommend that well, I'll try, i'm gonna try the masala oh uh, you won't know if you don't try so this is chicken masala um this is gonna be a spicier dish and a spicier tomato gravy sauce with such um flavors in the gravy you're just gonna taste it all the time uh you know the wine can come and go but you're still gonna feel all that spice mm -hmm. Uh, the Barbera with the chicken masala, I think, goes pretty well. It's not like the perfect marriage of flavors, but you're saying the wine does come and go, but the Barbera has this mineral accent yeah. that kind of... It doesn't, it doesn't really clash. Yeah, it much better than the first pairing. Especially after that, I ate the masala sauce and I smell the Barbera, right? The flavor is really complimentary on the nose. It's not annoying, but it's like not quite eat together. Uh, <laughs> it shows what it is. It's from two different, very, uh, very different worlds. Louis has a second wine. He has the La Spalata Romagna Sangiovese. I'm a big fan of uh, from San Patriano. Cool story. You want to give him the story? Louis San Patriano is in the Emilia Romagna region uh, of Italy and it's on the east coast. San Patriano is a winery uh, with a mission. Um, it helps in a drug rehabilitation program. All the products uh, from this uh, community, of which wine is just part of them, uh, all go towards uh, funding for this uh, independent project. This is the uh, mid-level Romagna Sangiovese, right? Yep. Which I actually, when we're in Emilia Romagna, I love the Sangiovese, especially when you're having with the local food. They're so inexpensive, they're so good. Let's try it with the potato and I'll just shut up and let's try it. It goes okay with the potato, this potato curry, but the potato is still a little bit too much. In most of these cases, the food is winning. That's why you should come to Singapore because the food is winning. <laughs> Let me try with the uh, masala gravy here in the warm. I think it will be better. Might be my favorite pairing. Pure like fruit, and it's bold. It's still got the acidity cut through. Yeah. And I think the key, Sanjo Easy always uh, brings a bit of earthiness. Not bad, but, but there's a lot of spice lingering. But I think no, I think it's good. It's not like it's not like it's hating each other. I think it goes well together. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. Not That's, totally complimentary, yeah. but yeah. what was your favorite pairing today? That mine was the. Uh, since you may see this, maybe Vernaccia Hockey and Me. You're, yourself? Vernaccia Hockey and Me. I mean, I, I do it almost every Saturday. For me, I actually like the Vernaccia with Opia. What are, what are some takeaways? Many different wines, many different flavor profiles. You can pay attention to the structure. You can pay attention to the flavors. So these will result in different experiences. I think it's important to think about the flavor profile and also the balance in the mouth. And ultimately, it's all about trying because I think none of us got it figured out when it comes to when it comes to food and wine pairing. We can be honest; none of these pairings were offensive, right? Mm -hmm, very much, yeah. Okay. Like the show of sugar acid fat. Think about how they all balance up together with the wine. Guys, if you are in Singapore or if you're in the area, you want to check out some unique boutique Italian wines. I'll put Luigi's wine Hello. in the description box. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> he uh, he also does uh, deliveries private style. customers. Yeah. Really, really good selection of wines. Great prices too, especially when you're talking about. I gotta drop a plug and honest one, okay? I've never tasted a bad bottle from Louis. Everything is good from his portfolio. So guys, if you wanna do it, check out the website and please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Exotic Wine Travel. Remember to drink adventurously, expand your palate, expand your mind, and we'll see you <laughs> at the next episode.